So, I want to go see The Book of Life. It's directed by Jorge Gutierrez, and not Guillermo del Toro, as I'm sure a couple people are thinking. He's just the producer. It stars Zoe Saldana, Diego Luna, and Channing Tatum, and there's a really fantastic, eclectic cast of uh, supporting actors. There's uh, Ron Perlman, Christina Applegate, Danny Trejo, Cheech Marin, oh, and Ice Cube, because... Ice Cube, I guess? There's actually a decent amount going on here. There's a framing story where these unruly children are being told a story from the Mexican Book of Life at a museum by a mysterious tour guide. And then there's the main plot, which is um, there's the young boy Manolo. He's a kind, gentle soul. And his best friend, Joaquin, the, the adventurous brash one. And they're in a love triangle with the headstrong young girl, Maria. And then there's two gods who sort of decide to make a bet on who wins the heart of Maria. There's La Muerte, she's the beautiful, kind goddess, and she doesn't cheat, she doesn't interfere, and she picks Manolo. And then there's Zabalba, and he picks Joaquin, and he cheats up one side and down the other, which leads to all sorts of things in this film, you know, including a trip to the underworld, fight scenes, lots of jokes, and, um, everyone learning lessons in the end, like not to live in your parents' shadow and to be your own self. Um, it's, it's not a bad story. It's not perfect, like, because there's so much going on and the framing device is a story being told to children, there's a lot of mythology just told to you. So there's a bit in there at the beginning that's really kind of dull because it's just just explaining everything that, you know, the people in the main plot already know, and it just it just drags a little bit. But um, all in all, it's it's not bad. It's not bad at all. Now, there's a couple of things I think are particularly worth mentioning about this film. For one, there's the music. It's it's very unusual. Uh, there's a couple of original songs in the soundtrack which are actually quite nice. I, I did enjoy them. But then there's a bunch of covers of pop music. For one, there's uh, Radio Hits Creep, uh, Mumford and Sons. I will wait. Um, most unusually, Elvis's can't help falling in love with you, and they're they're interesting covers. They're like a sort of uh, acoustic pop mariachi-ish covers of the songs. I liked them. They were all they were all nicely done. I they they sounded good, but very unusual. And I'm I'm just confused by, you know, Elvis and Radiohead in, in the kids' movie. Um, I'm not complaining, it's, it's, it's nice, but just odd music choices. More for the parents, I think, than the kids. Two, there's the art design. Now, I'm not talking about the CGI, which is fantastic in and of itself. I'm saying the, the actual character design and the whole look of the entire film. It's really fantastic. Um, the framing story, of course, is, you know, the kids in the museum, and the tour guide says, hey, here's this box of uh, Mexican puppets. These are the characters in the story that I'm telling you. And so the, the story that you see is it, everything looks like puppets. It's, um, you, you know, the, the, the puppets and the, the spun sugar little candies from the, the Mexican Day of the Dead? Um, the entire movie looks like that. There's vibrant colors, really interesting, really interesting looking characters. Um, it's fantastically done. Everything looks beautiful. I can't praise the look of this movie enough. I really, really enjoyed it. So, in the end, you have a fun, cute little kids movie. Personally, I was hoping for something a little bit higher on the scale of good films, but uh, it's not bad in the slightest. I mean, there's enough smart, intelligent comedy in there to entertain pretty much any adult that goes. I will say it's, it's definitely not for all the kids. I mean, especially not the ones who are still in that sort of yuck romance stage of things. But even beyond that, the, the way it's framed doesn't add much to it, and it kind of actually makes the film drag in a couple spots, so if it's a kid who's a little antsy, really needs things happening in a movie, this isn't going to be for them. Um, but for most people, it's going to be just fine, very entertaining. Uh, until next time, folks. Enjoy film.